Hey everybody, welcome to Excel Video 353. I'm sending this to you on the way back from San Diego where I was there to speak for AOE in the orthopedic group. If I haven't spoken to your organization lately, I'd love to. This time we were talking about data mining. What I want to do today is a couple of things to kind of transition from the basics to actually using array formulas. A couple of things I want to show you. Remember that this is a range that we defined as changing factors. Notice what's going on over here. This name box will say changing factors when you highlight an area that's named as an array. Remember we went to named manager. We named changing factors in these cells as an array. You can see it here. So if rather than say I wonder what this is called or whatever, I'm going to go to name manager and find that thing. If I highlight them and just uh, uh, select the five cells, there we have it changing factors. You can see the names in the name box. Now let's start actually using some array formulas and find something that may be helpful for you. I've started to build some formulas over here and I've decided, you know, it would really help me to have these annual revenues over here. What you can do is I'm going to highlight two columns and six cells and I'm going to type a formula that does this. Equals, go over to the constants tab and do this. I'm going to go control, shift, enter and these are the same values that are right here. I could format paint this stuff. I'm going to clean that out because, oh, there's the first thing you got to know about my little trick. No, look at the formulas here. When I said, hey, you know, I don't like that or whatever, you know, I suppose I could go, I'm going to undo the formatting and I can just format this. Whoops, I guess I better do it this way. There we go. But notice what happens. And I say, you know, I don't want that there anymore. I think I'll get rid of it. I think I'll delete. Oh, I can't delete it. I can't put text in there. I can't put numbers in there. See how I can't change part of an array. And so what that's doing is it's protecting me from trouble up here. Now what I may do is I can bold this. And here we could do that. Watch what happens when I do this. 2213 there. And here, just to really screw things up, we're going to put Nate there. Watch what happens. Here's Nate, and here's 2213. So the formulas are live. Look, if you look at the formulas, the formula is an array. When I entered it, I did equals constants A18 to B23, and did control shift enter, and this is an array. So I could change these formatting, but I can't get rid of this. I can't delete or change any part of an array. So if you're looking for a way to bring data over from another tab or from another worksheet, you don't want to necessarily lock your file down, but you do want to keep people from changing these numbers. I can't hit delete. I can't hit backspace. Can you let me out of there? I can't change anything in that part of an array. To, as you start using these arrays, I've got a bunch more tricks here that we're going to start playing with next time. Some formulas that we're going to use to understand of this 6 million that's here, how much of it's north, south, and east, what's my total 2009, what's my total north. There are a bunch of things we can play with array formulas. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.